Hi there, I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, a board certified and a fellowship trained refractive and cataract surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. You may have seen the news that a team of surgeons in New York has performed the world's first transplant of an entire eye. About 45 face transplants have been performed around the world, but this marks the first time surgeons have successfully transplanted a whole eye into a living person. Transplanting an entire eye has long been a lofty goal in ophthalmology. And though researchers have had some success in animals, but it had never before been performed in a living person. The groundbreaking surgery involved removing part of the face and the whole left eye, including its blood supply and optic nerve. The patient was an Army National Guard veteran who was on the job as an electrical line worker in an elevated bucket transferring wires to a new electrical pole in June 2021, when he inadvertently touched his face to a live wire while holding a neutral wire. The shock of more than 7,000 volts of electricity shooting through his body severely damaged his eye, face, and other parts of his body. The patient suffered extensive injuries, including the loss of his left eye and about three quarters of his face. Three months after the patient was listed as a potential transplant recipient, he was matched with a donor, a man in his 30s who, according to the Organ Procurement Organization, Levon, New York, donated both his face and eye to the patient and saved three other lives as well with donations of his kidneys, liver, and pancreas. The procedure was performed on May 27th by a team of surgeons at NYU Lagoon Health in New York. The surgery lasted 21 hours and the patient remained in the hospital for 37 days. So are we close to restoring vision for people who have lost an eye? That depends on if the optic nerve is working or not. Vision is complicated. We actually see with our brains not our eyes. The optic nerve is a bundle of nerve tissue that contains more than 1 million nerve fibers, which carry the images captured by our eyes to our brain, allowing us to see. Because the main barrier to vision restoration is optic nerve regeneration. Without that, even a whole eye transplant procedure cannot restore vision. As a cornea specialist, I've performed hundreds of cornea transplant surgeries, replacing clear windshield of the eye for my patients to improve or restore their vision. However, when simply transplanting planting the cornea only, the patients still have a functioning optic nerve, allowing vision to be restored after cornea transplant surgery. It isn't yet known whether the man will ever see through the donated eye. So far, the patient has no vision in the eye and doctors are unsure if he ever will. And given the time that has passed since the surgery, it is probably unlikely. But that does not mean the procedure was a failure, but rather maybe a key step along the path to transplanting a visually functional eye in the near future. According to the retinal ophthalmologist Venahi Didania at NYU, the transplanted left eye appears healthy, has a good blood supply, it is maintaining its pressure, and is generating an electrical signal. Because in order to restore sight to a transplanted eye would require optic nerve regeneration. The NYU Lagoon team said they had used bone marrow derived adult stem cells to promote nerve repair and future directions could involve including other cutting edge approaches including gene therapy to tap the optic nerves intrinsic ability to heal using a device called a nerve wrap to protect the tissue or using devices that pick up signals and bypass the damaged pathway so far, there has been no mention of significant rejection or severe complications, and the success of this procedure appears to represent a medical breakthrough, which could end up being a step towards restoring vision to blind patients throughout the world. The patient in this case was considered an ideal candidate because his need for a facial transplant meant he would already require immunosuppressive drugs and so that risk was already present, and transplanting the eye would add no additional drug-related risk. Of course, that didn't mean that the procedure was without significant risk, particularly in transplanting an eye. Eyes can develop what's called sympathetic ophthalmia. Sympathetic ophthalmia is a rare, devastating disease defined as bilateral uveitis following an eye injury. It may result in permanent bilateral vision loss in an otherwise healthy eye with no ocular morbidities. Initial symptoms and the timeline for the onset of the symptoms after an injury or surgery are highly variable. In other words, there is a chance that transplanting an eye can risk the sight in the other eye.
In addition, transplanting the eye could increase the risk of a severe rejection of the graft. If the body rejected the eye, that could set off a severe rejection of the face grafts as well. We're probably years away from starting actual clinical trials in living humans that can result in successful optic nerve regeneration and even longer away from restoring vision with the whole eye transplant procedures. Scientists are continuing to make progress in this area, but a lot more research is still needed. If you have learned anything new from this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel to support more informative content on eye health and surgery. You can also follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram at Dr. Audrey Tai to learn more about my practice. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.